All right, what we have here are just a couple little geodes. Nothing too fancy. And what we're gonna do today is take them out to the saw, cut them in half, see if we're gonna wanna make a couple of stones to make some jewelry. All right, off to the saw. Here's our little rock saw. It's an oil bath. We use uh, mineral oil as a lubricant. You see all my little trimmings up there. So we're gonna take the geodes and kind of trim them up, make a flat bottom, and then figure out how we want to make these cut. All right, now we're gonna see how well I can hold the phone cut at the same time. Got this little dude cut. It's a little oily, but check this out. Ooh! So there's a quartz pocket in there that we just barely touched. And so now it'll be all sparkly when we uh, get that all polished up. Yeah. The piece we cut off is pretty sweet too. This will just get tumbled. Look at that pattern, pretty cool. Oh yeah, a little feathery agate. So the second agate we cut, we made a couple of cuts to get down in there where we wanted. But it was just a plain old agate, or geode. And we cut these off. It kind of got the same type of deal as the last one. We have some of that quartz coming from the bottom. Get a little sparkly. Can't see it yet when it's polished. And then we kind of got into the the geode side. There's crystals down in there, but we'll polish all this up. and look real wild. Look at that. Looks like a painting. I love it. I love it. All right. Now to get these uh, on the grinder. Here's our fancy little diamond grinder. On one side we have 60 grit diamond, on the other side we have 220 grit. And we've got our little water drip system we put together. And this will uh, put water on the wheel and let us get these things uh, ground out to a better shape. So we're done grinding now. They're a little rough. It's uh, pretty traumatic when you're on that uh, real heavy grit diamond. So uh, most of the work is done here. All the shape, everything, we get all that done in by the 220. So when we go to the 600, we're not uh, destroying our equipment. But it's a little cloudy. But once we start sanding it, it'll start polishing up. All right, here's our little sanding unit. Goes from 600 grit all the way up to I think 8,000, maybe 14,000. But it's the same as before. We'll get the water running on them. These are soft, so they have a little bit of flex so we can get a little bit more dome in the stone. And uh, when we're done here, they'll look just about done. All right finally done with these two little pieces. They turned out pretty cool. As you can see, they're just unsuspecting little rocks. That one turned out real nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty cool crystal bug in there. You can see through it right there, it's pretty cool. All right, now this is the money maker. Look at this guy, didn't break through, 
the court so it's fully intact. Better shot with some light. Oh, just deep in there, underneath that clear cap. Awesome. I want to thank everybody that watched the video. Took time to check out this little lapidary thing I do. If you're interested in some custom jewelry, here's some of the pieces I work. And here's some stones. And you can contact me through Facebook or my website, camzillaindustries.com. Thanks.